Louis Malloy is the man behind the world's most famous tattoo. David Beckham's guardian angel. One month ago, Louis closed up his shop and headed south to take on the capital. He chose three of the best tattoo artists in the country for his team. Queen of Japanese, Nicole Lowe. Old school master, Phil Kyle. And graffiti freestyler, Dan Gold. Heading a team this talented isn't always easy. It's very, very hard to be the boss because you're doing a constant juggling act to keep everybody happy. It doesn't always work, though. But he's working it out, and together, they are London Inc. This time on London Inc. Sexy guest artist Sylvia Z joins the crew. Hello. The first impression of Sylvia was she has got a great arse. Looking forward to it. Yes. Good, because we're all going to be stood over you watching you. Ooh. Louis commits a serious tattoo studio crime. Yeah, I'm pretty pissed off. It's disrespectful, it's wrong, it's uh, unprofessional. And Dan and Phil take Sylvia to check out a little bump and grind. I've, I've been doing this all afternoon and I've been listening to you over the crack, everyone. Last week, Which tensions came to a head between Dan and Louis. He's very, very easily distracted. That's not true. No, it is, because I've been, sat here. I've been sat here. I've, I've been sat here. I've drawn a whole design. I'm not saying that his style is wrong. I wouldn't want to work like that. I wouldn't want to live my life like that. Are you going to get it finished today? Yeah, there's, no po finished. there's no point in starting anything else. You know, bottom line, it's down to him. It's not down to me. But if he doesn't want to do it, try. That's the way it'll be. Dan will have to work hard to prove to Louis that he deserves a seat in the studio. But Dan may get his chance to shine with his first client. Nice, nice, nice see you. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Mm -hmm. DJ Terry Ryan travels all over the world for work, but his first love is London. So that's the idea. This is looking wicked. Well, I've... Terry's here to get the London skyline tattooed on his arm so he can take his city with him wherever he goes. It's an ambitious piece of work. Are you going to have pigeons? It'd be nice to like just maybe have a couple of like kind of pigeons flying off onto like kind of just graphically almost like smoke just off the top of there, just up onto my shoulder there. That'd be a great just, idea. Just tiny, tiny little yeah, ones, like little silhouettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah little yeah. silhouettes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, don't move a muscle. Terry was first tattooed by Dan years ago, and since then he won't go to anyone else. He did this, which is. Um, it's the, it's the arm from a Technics turntable, but he stylized it and did the shading and the chromes on it. it. It just looks amazing. He just drew it straight on my arm, and I could see from there that he had, like, the freehand talent to be able to do that. So he's the only man that I now trust to do tattoos on me. Like, he's the only man I trust to, like, touch my skin. Nicole loves Dan's design and knows how much it means to him. She recommended that he make his stencil yeah. even bigger. No, you were yeah. right. You were definitely right. It means a lot more work. It makes a difference, though. A little though. bit bigger makes it, I think, clearer and stuff. Yeah. It's amazing what an inch can do. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> I always think the, the bigger the better. It's got to fit the space. Do you want to go and check it out in a minute? Yeah, I'll put the cheese. Yeah, wicked. What do you think? Yeah, it did look so much better. Bigger, I think. Yeah, really like the detail in it. Phil's clients, Phil and Annika, are faithful followers of the tattoo scene. They first yes. met Phil at a tattoo convention. It's a little something for Willow. Whoa, cool. Phil's a single dad, and Annika has brought a present awesome. for his daughter. And there's a card in that for awesome. you as well. And Willow. Thanks. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I have a seven year old daughter. Her name's Willow. Kipchoge. <laughs> She's quite a character and probably my biggest inspiration. She's the, the, the coolest chick on the planet. While Phil is at London Inc., Willow's home in France with Phil's mother. Phil's not used to being away from her, so he goes back every chance he gets. Well, I have your designs here, so Excellent. just wanted you guys to have a look at them. And, uh... Sometimes he gets a job that makes the time away worth it. 
This is one of them. Phil and Annika are here to get matching owl tattoos. Uh, we've been together about a year. We got engaged about six months ago. Uh, we wanted to get engagement tattoos to each other. Didn't quite get the chance to go over to France as yet. Uh, so this was a good chance to do it. But this, the idea behind it is quite cheesy sounding. But uh, like, <laughs> I always sort of promise I'd look after her heart. So the owl is holding the lantern with a heart in it, looking after it. And she always jokes that I look like a barn owl. It does look like a barn owl. <laughs> so that's the reason behind them, really. Phil and Annika know that their owl idea is perfect for the old school style Phil Kyle is famous for. Ready? Yeah. Do a couple of short lines first and then, and then move on. Phil and Annika sit back and watch the old school master at work. While the studio is humming, Louis nips out for a beauty break at his favorite perfume shop. It's time for him to restock his scent cabinet. This is very interesting and nice. I like it myself. It's a broom. If there's one thing that I've learned in life, it's first impressions count. Like uh, it's very green violets. Louis believes in looking good and smelling good. I want to represent myself in such a way as that when people see me, they'll take me seriously. It's the little cream, the pasta de mandorle. I'm going for that one. The off. pomegranate. Yes, yeah, nice that. While Louis stocks up on pomegranate massage oil, Dan's cracking on with his intricate cityscape for his DJ friend Terry. As Dan painstakingly fills in every tiny window on the gherkin, Rachel the Apprentice is showing how ambitious she is. Rachel really needs to step up her game a little bit. Maybe she needs someone to sort of to sort of take her under the arm a little bit more than, than, than Louis is doing, you know. I'd like to get another one. I want something a bit different. But Louis has other things on his mind. Yeah, I've got the love, I've got the lavender. I've got the, the orange blossom one. Classic <laughs> Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK, can you pass a little over for me then, please? Sure. Unfortunately for Louis, it costs a lot of money to smell this good. <laughs> Coming up, guest artist Sylvia sets the boys' hearts aflutter. It's nice to see uh, pretty girls make pretty tattoos. And a trip to the racetrack brings out the artist's competitive sides. He was like a nana. Nana, nana, nana. Number one, I'm the boy. I'm the man. The skin is quite red on her knee. Clients Phil and Annika have come in for matching old school owls. Phil's putting the final touches on his first one just as Louis returns with a bag full of scent. Oh, it looks done to me. Oh, that's good, that. Oh, you smell good. What's in the bag? <laughs> smell, just put your nose in that. Wow. <laughs> that smells really good, man. It does. That's brilliant, man. Looks good. The fun one. <laughs> <laughs> Go and have a look. Traditional tattooing is not just a bunch of freaking swallows and stars and this and that. You can do any kind of image in with that type of tattooing. What do you think? It's amazing, mate. I love you it. like it? Yeah, I love the colours in it, especially in like, the wings. Phil yeah, loves Phil wings. Kyle's traditional oh, take cool. on his owl concept. Yeah, it's fantastic. Cool. Dan's friend, DJ Terry Ryan, came in for a very detailed London skyline tattoo. It's been a big job for Dan, and he's nearly finished. He's freehanding some pigeons into the intricate design. Another one. That's the one. Good. There you go. What does Terry think of Dan's take on his beloved city? Yeah, worth all the pain. Yeah, it looks wicked. The shading looks absolutely amazing. It's a bit of a nightmare to do. There's a <laughs> lot of fucking windows. The contrast of the black and white, the greys and the shading and the pigeons and everything about it, it's more intricate than I thought it was going to be, but that's a really, really good thing. It's amazing. What does Louis think? He's got so much potential. You can just see it in his artwork. I mean, he's a really, really good artist. It's the city, the city that I love. <laughs> one owl down, one to go. Phil's making strides on Annika's tattoo. Okay. Yeah. Louis watches Phil add colour to his mostly black design. 
back in the day, you know, they, they only had a few colors and they were pretty expensive. So, you know, the guy did crank into a bunch of black shading and then, and then go over with a little bit of color. It turned into a, a style, you know, once you have a look see. Awesome. Phil had fun with this one. <laughs> Stay there, actually, it's not finished. <laughs> yeah. One last thing. Got <laughs> oh, wow. It's so pretty. <laughs> Good. Phil surpassed himself. You would look at him and you'd know Phil Kyle straight away. He's got that style. There's a lot of people doing that style, but Phil has one all of his own, and it does stand out. Annika's thrilled with her owl. Uh, Rachel? Dan thinks Rachel isn't getting enough direction from Louis, so he steps up to do it himself. If you could just take some, some wipes and just wipe all my, my, my ink bottles down, that, that's kind of a job that you should always remember to do and do on a regular basis, you know what I mean? To have an apprentice shouldn't really be a burden, it should be like, a, like something, an aid or something that makes your life easier. After you've done that, um, I need you to um, unpack the gloves as well. Just check that every unit's got um, gloves on it, again. Um, there's a lot of things, and I know it's difficult, but there's a lot of things that we only really want to say once, you know what I mean? So you've just got to really be like, <clears throat> think about them all the time. If you have to tell a person to do stuff every single time, you might as well just do it yourself, because it's probably going to happen quicker. Boom, 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 boom. All right, well, I'll probably get you to do loads of stuff today, but, yeah, if you start off with that, that would be okay. great. I'll cover this one while you do that. OK. OK? Yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. Cool. OK. Get cracking on with that, then. OK. Louis' first client is Olympic medalist Ewan Thomas. Hello. How are you? You all right? Nice to see you again. You all right? Yeah, you. Yeah, not too bad. Ewan is here to get a column-lined archway on his arm in the style of Wentworth Miller's on the TV show Prison Break. Just got to be careful about how we place it so that it doesn't distort too massively. Yeah. You know, it's not worse than when you've got one of them really nice Greek pillars and then it goes... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ewan is going to let Louis freestyle a surprise design into the arch. Well, I just trust you, whatever you want to do. I love architecture, so I really relish doing that piece. Um, Ewan was a bit unsure of where I was going with it. It was a sort of Twilight Zone type image. And that's how I'm going to build it, that's how I'm going to develop it. And I know he'll like it. Pretty much bang on. Yeah. There's a little bit of a distortion there, but there's nothing we can do about that. No, that's the shape of your arm and the muscle. Louis gets down to work. Dan and Nicole come over to check out his design. This is what I'd love to see you do. Louis wants to see Nicole do something other than her usual Japanese style. I'd see Nicole doing something like this, because you'd be good at it. Uh. I'd love to see it. <laughs> One day, Louis. One no, day. No, why not tomorrow? Why not yeah. today? I'll let you do it on me then. Yeah. <laughs> no, I won't. No, I, I never did take drawing. I never did it. What? I said drawing. <laughs> 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 well, I'm just practicing, you know. <laughs> Louis suddenly remembers that he has an important announcement to make. Everybody, just. Every, ooh, excuse me. Uh, we've got a guest artist coming in today, Sylvia. Let's all make you feel ready? welcome. Who's not working today? I'm not working. Dan my and Phil. Dan's going to be sitting watching me. Who? Dan. Who? Dan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> While the others have a laugh, Louis gets back to work. Sometimes the fact that I work up there on my own and be a bit standoffish is not always a bad thing. If you become too over-friendly with people, then you can lose their respect. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Portrait tattooist Sylvia Z will be taking a seat at the studio for a few days. Sylvia's only been tattooing for five years, and she's already one of the top portrait artists in Britain. To get to that level after five years is extremely good but in like 10 years from now, she's gonna be amazing. The boys think Sylvia's amazing already. Hi, Lily. Hi. Hi, this is Phil. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing? Do you want me to take it back? 
Dan wants to be as helpful as possible. It's going to be a long week for Nicole. Louis really looking forward to watching Sylvia work. Give me some portraits for us, I believe. Yes. You're looking mm -hmm. forward to it. Yes. Good, because we're all going to be stood over you watching you. <laughs> Dan's happy to give Sylvia all his attention. <laughs> Work off my unit, help yourself to whatever you need, you know. He's there to give her anything she needs. No, I'm going to... What, what, what would you like to work on? I have to say, uh, Louis and Daniel have been very helpful with me. They've been taking care of everything I need. They're just right there giving it to me and just make sure I'm all right. So that's just great. I don't have so much attention, usually. <laughs> OK, well, I'll get you a chair that we can do that with. Phil, can I nick your table? The first impression of Syria was she has got a great ass. <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, my second impression was, yeah, that house is really great. Sylvia's preparing for her first client at London Inc. She's ready to prove that she's worthy of being invited for a guest spot at the studio. Danny loves iconic 1950s pin-up Betty Page. He loves her so much, he wants her tattooed on his back. I'm getting a tattoo of Betty uh, because, um, well, apart from always liking Betty's style and stuff, it's part of that 50s kind of iconography that I, I like so much. So, yeah, it just seemed like uh, something really cool to get. Nicole, mm? give me a hand. <laughs> now it's Nicole's turn to be helpful to Sylvia. Can you just press where the eyes are? Oh, thank you. Jeez, okay, I think it's fine. We can take it off. Mm -hmm. Yes, just to ride a little bit, but I can fix that. So every day I do a whole sea flesh, drew it out, coloured it in. While Sylvia gets started on Danny's tattoo, Nicole gives Rachel a lesson in drawing. I think I, I drew more after the depression. When I moved to England, I started drawing more, like I started doing the volumes of... Is Rachel even interested? And, ...and things that I wanted to do, you know? Mm. OK. Cool. She should just be asking questions, drawing, looking through all the reference, and just basically showing a whole lot of interest. Because if she shows interest, then we'll be willing to Maybe tell her a few things, but if she just shows no interest, I'm not interested in telling her anything. Get rid of that. Yes. But Nicole's not ready to give up yet. She gives Rachel some pointers on her koi carp drawings, and Rachel seems to be getting it. Trying out along with the big scales. Try on something down. All going up, whatever. I don't mind. I mean, I should have something for Louis on Monday. Show him a nice one, you know? Yeah, okay. Meanwhile, Louis is busy colouring in his surprise column design for Ewan, and he's making Dan watch to learn how to work his way. It's dangerous to, to think that your way is the only right way. I think we both have very different ways of, of, of working, but I think we both arrive at a good result. OK, big fella, we're done for today. Oh, oh, oh. Louis has filled in Ewan's archway with a mysterious, all-seeing eye. Ewan can't wait to see what Louis has done. OK, now we're done for today. Is that white in the eye there? Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh. Don't touch it. Oh. Go and walk in the mirror. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I love it. It's wicked, isn't it? Good. But today I've had done um, like an archway and I'm going to have a figure added to it. But what Louis put in the middle was some eyes, an eye, which I didn't realise he was going to do, which looks really good. Wicked, I love it. Fortunately for Louis, Ewan loves his surprise design. It'll look better when it's healed as well, cos yeah. all was great. Cheers, mate. No! I what? Can't touch the gloves? Not a gloved hand. Oh, really? Oh, it's quick there, wasn't What's it? What's that mean, then? That looks really, really amazing. 
Dan's discovered that Sylvia's much more than just a pretty ass. You're going to be a happy man. I'm already happy. Yeah. <laughs> you like being the boy. Oh, right. Beauty pleasure. Dan may admire her work, but he can't help flirting. I don't really have any guilty pleasures myself. <laughs> Nicole must be over it by now. <laughs> Serious tattoos are oh, incredible. I was totally blown away. And I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was just so perfect. I was lost for words when I looked at it. It was fantastic. I mean, that Betty Pace thing she did, it's just, I just couldn't believe it. The writing, the portrait, everything about it was just perfect. It's done. OK, take a look. The frog. Danny checks out his Betty. Oh, wow. That's fantastic, isn't it? So happy with it. Excellent. Absolutely fantastic. Sylvia did her own twist on it, and it was quite a fantastic piece of work. It's the kind of thing that, you know, you want to get out and show it off, cos, like, hey, brilliant. And it was. It was really good. After a long, hard week at the studio, Dan decides it's time to blow off some steam. So he's rounded up the gang and taken them to the go-kart track. Like I think things like go-karting and paintballing and just doing stuff outside that you wouldn't normally do. And I think it's good. I think it's a good way to everyone get rid of their aggressions if they've got little issues with each other. <laughs> and they're off. While the rest of the crew is playing around, Louis is playing it safe. I am very, very driven. Um, it's just part of my persona. I always try and imagine in my mind the, the finish, the goal, the achievement. Louis's aerodynamic shoes are propelling him to the finish line. His slow and steady tactic has paid off. He's won the first race. Number one, I'm the boy, I'm the man. Slow and easy, won the race. Silver Fox did it again, number one. The go-karting brought out all our characters. I think Louis took it a little bit serious, maybe. Um, I was there to have fun, he was there to win. But the second race is anyone's game. Dan can't stop spinning out, and every time he does, the Silver Fox slinks right past him and holds up all the traffic. The Silver Fox thinks he's done it again, but he's been lapped by speed demon Nicole. Yeah, Louis won the first round because he's fucking Safeo, Mr. Safeo driver. He was like nana, 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 nana. I'm the winner. Let's take the stunts of this freaking bit. I won both races. You know, I was. Uh, it may have looked like I came in last, but what really happened was that I was a lap ahead of everyone, and that's why I came in last when it came into the pits, both times. But really, I won. <laughs> 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 I love, I really love working with Nicole and Phil. I can't remember the last time I laughed as much. <laughs> Next on London Inc. So, you know, this is my first old school piece ever. Nicole breaks free from Japanese style. Well, let's pop your old school cherry. And Louis breaks the cardinal rule of a tattoo studio. I'm, I'm, I'm only doing this bit down there. I'm going you do the rest of the book. Uh, whether Dan took it well or not, I don't know. And to be fair, and to be really frank, I don't really care. Phil's next client will be here soon. Rachel's helping him prepare. As Phil sets up his space, he notices he's out of gloves. Can you grab me another box of, of large gloves, too? 
there's things that Rachel has to remember. You know, we can't, we can't be run run around like telling her the same thing a hundred times. It's small stuff, but it counts for everything. Be a whole box of gloves. What needs to be done inside of a tattoo shop is really important. Rachel doesn't seem to have any idea where the gloves are. She's really lucky to be in the position she's in right now and really just go with it. Rachel had better get it together if she wants to stay at the studio. She needs to think of that, too. There's definitely uh, hundreds of other people that would take her place in a heartbeat if, uh, you know, if it didn't work out with her. I'm going to size this up for you. Laura's come down from Scotland to get a Phil Kyle tattoo. She's getting a traditional anchor and treasure chest with two jewels. Two jewels are basically about my family, which is my husband and my daughter. My wee girl's two and a half, and uh, she's just my whole universe, basically, so I wanted something for her. Naturally, the conversation turns towards their girls. I love having a daughter. It's awesome. She's so sweet and nice. She's just going to get into that age where you know, she's using her imagination and, you know, she sings little songs to herself when she's yeah. playing games and you find you've just spent like half an hour standing in the kitchen watching her play, you know, it's yeah, really, great. really special. The kid is like a little piece of, of you there, you know, which is awesome. And you see him do kind of the same things you do, like a little personality and stuff. It's amazing. She's my partner in crime, we do all kinds of cool stuff together. Got her little drawing table set up next to mine, and she's drawing all the time, too, so. She gives me little critiques on my paintings, which is cool because, you know, honest kids are. No way, she goes on with my gags real good. She even comes up with some of her own, so. She'll be a good gagster later down the road. <laughs> She's pretty proud of me. That's really something for me that's really cool. Phil's headed back to France tomorrow, and he can't wait to see his little girl. Getting close here. Phil's nearly done. Sylvia's arrived, and she swings by to check out his work. How long did it take to do it? Couple hours. Couple hours. Yeah. Wow. Going down. Anchor's going down. Phil's popular with the ladies today. What do you think? I think it's shit. Yeah, me too. Just start over now. <laughs> you do this one in the, the olive green? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Get that little moldy look, you know? Yeah, like your style. Get you cleaned off. Laura's done. Go ahead, take a look in the mirror, see what you think. Oh, it's awesome. You like it? It's absolutely amazing, yeah. I'm really, really happy with that. Yep, definitely. Laura's got a serious Phil Kyle piece wow. to take back to her family in Scotland. Absolutely ecstatically over the moon with the tattoo. I absolutely love it. Um, it was so worth the, the journey. I would have came here by hook or by crook if I had to thumb my way to London to get that today. <laughs> so I'm really chuffed and really happy. Yeah, definitely. Phil's not the only one with an old school piece this morning. Nicole's friend Beth is here for a tattoo that's not in Nicole's usual Japanese style. There's something I prepared earlier. It's gorgeous. I'm here to get a Mexican candy skull. Perfect. That size? Yeah. Nicole has made the old school skull and roses design her own by adding Japanese style butterflies and pattern work. So you know this is my first old school piece ever. I did not. I am a Japanese girl. Well, let's pop your old school cherry. <laughs> Nicole's uh, awesome at Japanese tattooing. Uh, all of my tattoos are, are the old school kind of genre, but I really wanted to get tattooed by her, so I talked her into uh, jumping over the fence. Nicole gets to work on her first ever old school tattoo. Uh, That's really cool. I love it. It's going to look so good. This could be the start of something new for me. A new genre. Yeah. 
so why would you thinking to get it done? Uh -oh. well, what, Sylvia's client Joe's here to get a portrait of his 11-year-old daughter Lucy. Her mother passed away just over two years ago now from uh, cancer. She's really held the house together uh, through what's been quite a traumatic time within our lives. She's pretty much held me together and all. So I just want to show her how proud I am. You know, this, this is you. You're my daughter and number one in my life. Sylvia gets started on Joe's tribute to Lucy. Yeah. Meanwhile, Nicole's conquering old school the way she conquered Japanese style. Sylvia's making progress on Joe's tattoo. So how long ago is it that, that everything happened? Two and a half years ago now. Two and a half years ago? Yeah. Must have been so hard. Yeah, very hard, very hard. And was she, Lucy, she going to school and do everything yeah, going on? Yeah, yeah. She, she had two weeks off school. Only two weeks? Yeah, and then went back. She was very young then, so she was about She would have been nine at the nine. time, yeah. yeah. You have a really good relationship with us. Yeah, yeah, my best friends. Really? My lovely, thank you very much. Beth's skull is done, and Nicole has officially yeah. lost her old school virginity. Oh. <laughs> you hold it. It's traditional with a hint of Japanese. Is that good or bad? I'm loving it, loving it. You like that? How good, good is that? Like that? That's awesome. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, <laughs> cool, thanks. I enjoyed it. Oh, it's so good. I really enjoyed it. It was good fun. It was good fun. She's got to go back to Australia soon, so it was nice to give her a little bit of something to take away. Dan's friend David is a rocket scientist, and he's here for a rocket tattoo. His tattoo is a rocket with some pin-up girls lifting it into space, which is like a really, really cool concept, and I'm super excited about doing it, which is why I've been home drawing on it every night. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hey, Dan. Hey, Rich. How's it going? Hey, Dan. Hello, darling. How are you? <laughs> Dan's done a lot of work, and he's come up with a variation on David's original idea. He's nervous about showing it to David and his girlfriend, Emma. <laughs> I don't want to show it. <laughs> Come on. You ready? Did you like it? <laughs> All right, there she is. Very cool. I think that's cool. What do you think? Yeah. It's different from what we were talking about, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually what you asked for, Dan, but... Uh... <laughs> you never get what you ask for. No. But you get what you need. But we were talking about, like, the angels guiding. Yeah, just kind of guiding it. Riding it, which works. She looks like she's about to do something indecent there. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Louis has his own opinion on the design. <laughs> it's a bit pornographic, that, isn't it? <laughs> Suggestive. Louis is... Treating Dan almost like an apprentice. I mean, it's always nice to get somebody else's opinion and to be critiqued and stuff like that, but it's sometimes better to be done without the customer in front of you, maybe. Been done today, all of it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. You're happy? Yeah. He's happy. Dan's been looking forward to this tattoo for a while and wants to make sure it's perfect. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, that's the new Joe's tattoo is ready for unveiling. Just try to go close so you can have a look. That's amazing. That's absolutely brilliant, Sylvia. Really, really pleased. Really, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words. I think it's, it's an amazing bit of work. When I first saw it, I welled up and totally taken away. I think Lucy would be pretty blown away herself. Well, we're up to 
on this now. Leave it on by six. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Good. Let's <laughs> go easy on him all down to me. <laughs> Getting a bit tight. Louis is about to break one of the fundamental rules of a tattoo yeah. studio. Wing on the rocket pack, apparently. He's taking over Dan's tattoo. Wing on the rocket pack. Yeah. Let's do a little bit of that here. Yeah. Just want to show you something. Yeah, I'm pretty pissed off. It's disrespectful. It's wrong. It's uh, unprofessional. I think it's uncalled for. Uh. Rather than do it like that, but can you see how much more solid that's putting that in? Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm only doing this bit down there. I'm going to let you do the rest of it. But I'm pretty upset because it's twice he's done it, and both times he's actually coloured in bits that shouldn't be coloured in. Any fool could say that if they'd only took the time to. Actually, look at it rather than just trying to make himself look cool in front of him. Just made himself look like a twat. Uh, whether Dan took it well or not, I don't know. And to be fair, and to be really frank, I don't really care. <laughs> Dan's almost finished with David's rocket, but Louis's not finished with Dan. Yes. Yeah. You done? Well done. It's only taking you five hours, 50 minutes. It's not bad. It's not bad. Getting there. You're going to suffer with that tomorrow. Do you want to have a look? Definitely. Oh. Dan's upset, but despite <laughs> the drama, David absolutely loves his rocket girl. Oh, that's wicked. It's really, really, really cool. Exactly what we planned. Coming up, Schoolmaster Louis gets taught a lesson. You're missing the anal fin. Ooh, what? The anal fin. <laughs> You're missing the anal fin. And the boys take Sylvia to the hottest show in town. <laughs> when Louis took over his tattoo, Dan took offence. Yeah, I'm pretty pissed off. It's disrespectful. It's wrong. It's uh, unprofessional. But his client David loved the finished work anyway, oh, so good. Dan's decided to let it go. I'm not too proud to learn. I'm not too proud to know where I'm at. I'm learning a lot, and for me, that's the most important thing, really. You know, I'm here to learn, and I'm learning, so it's all good. It's time for Louis to evaluate Rachel's drawing progress. Have the lessons she's received this week had any effect? Louis launches a silent strike on Rachel's sketchbook. But it looks like the great Louis Malloy still has things to learn. What? <laughs> the anal fin. You're missing the anal fin. It goes in here, it's really small. That can go in later. I know what I'm trying to do here is just get the basic shape right and the bit and the perspective on the fish, because you keep doing that centre line wrong. No, it'd be fine. It's a good shape. Whatever. I think that shape's not bad. I think that shape's incorrect. I think it's wrong. But that's just my opinion. I think you're doing well. I like the ones you did the other day. Yeah, I like it too. I think that at the end of the day, you, you, it had changed quite a lot, you know. All right, I'm out. It's the end of the day and time for some fun. Nicole's off to a party, and Phil's taking Dan and Sylvia someplace special. While the cool kids head off, Rachel has to stay and clean the studio. Sometimes like, I feel like Cinderella, except there's no ball at the end. Gina. 
The former Roxy Velvet comes over to welcome them. I'm going to be in this way. Looks like Phil's brought them to the right place. Have you been here before? Yep. First time. First time. Yeah, if I were you, I'd handcuff yourself to your seat if you're ready. <laughs> yeah, you guys are tattooists, yeah? Yeah, yeah, man. Do you, do, do, do you like things? Like, I want, my, I want my seams done. It's really difficult. Yeah, that's how I've heard. But we're really good. <laughs> cool. I'll let you guys get on. Uh, nice to meet you all. Thank you. Take care. Are you feeling a little bit better? Yeah. <laughs> Burlesque is uh, super beautiful. I don't know. It's just it's just a really beautiful thing. Beautiful women with their tits out. Between the wine and the show, the stresses of the past week seem to melt away. It's class, not trash. These girls are dressed up in corsets with these great hairdos and it just looks, you know, from another time. Another round of tequila shots, and they're ready for the woman they've been waiting for. Roxy Velvet. Sylvia enjoyed it. She kept saying, man, I want to try that, you know. And, you know, Dan. <laughs> Dan liked it. Looks like Dan isn't the only one. And on the way home, the party continues. Massive respect goes out to London Inc. Next time on London Inc. Former boy band member Shane Lynch wheels into the studio for a new engine. He said about that one, but I think this one's going to go better. As long as it runs on fuel, that's what I'm into. Louis and Dan are both birthday boys. What are the chances of having two birthdays in the same week? But well, one's naughtier than the other. <laughs> and Phil gets a sexy client who's a real pussycat. Apparently she's dressed up like a cat. <laughs> <laughs>